On April 17, 1989, roughly 100,000 students gather in the heart of Beijing to protest for economic reform in China and in remembrance of Hu Yaobang, a former Communist Party chairman and reformist who had died just two days prior. In the days to come, students are quickly joined by workers, public officials and intellectuals, calling for an end to authoritarianism. According to Reuters, on April 22, thousands of students assemble in Tiananmen Square to officially memorialize Hu, despite government warnings. They attempt to deliver a petition containing their demands for reform to government officials. The petition is rejected. On April 26, the People's Daily, a Chinese state-run newspaper, retaliates by publishing an editorial accusing protesters of being anti-party and anti-socialist. The letter sparks even more protests and unrest from the public. On May 19, then-party chief Zhao Ziyang and then-premier Li Peng meet with student protesters at Tiananmen Square. Zhao asks them to retreat, but the negotiations are unsuccessful. He is later purged for failing to stop the protests. The following day, Li declares martial law in certain areas of Beijing. On May 30th, students raise a 10-meter statue in Tiananmen Square made of paper mache and foam dubbed the Goddess of Democracy, modeled after the Statue of Liberty. On June 4th, armed Chinese troops enter Tiananmen Square and begin to violently take down demonstrators using tear gas and bullets. The square is cleared of protesters by the following morning. Later the same day, an unknown protester stops a tank convoy by defiantly standing in front of the leading tank. Archive footage shows the man climbing up the tank and attempting to speak to the tank commander. He is later removed by other protesters. In a broadcast on June 6, Chinese state media states the death toll was roughly 300, with only 23 students confirmed dead. However, witnesses claim deaths are probably in the thousands.